Now you would probably call this muscle your calf muscle, but the thing is, it's not actually your calf muscle because the calf muscle is, yes, what you're looking at here. This is called the gastrocnemius, but it's also, if you look really closely, there's this little muscle lurking behind it. That is the soleus, and both the soleus and the gastrocnemius form what's called the tricep surrey, which is your calf muscle. So, I mean, I'm kind of, <laughs> this is kind of tongue in cheek because, I mean, look, we're gonna, we're just gonna consider this your calf muscle because that's what everyone under the sun considers this is your calf muscle, but we do know that this is the gastrocnemius. Now, this is one of the most characteristic muscles in the human body, right? We all understand what calves look like. Now, what's interesting about this muscle is that it actually crosses two joints. The reason why that's interesting is because the soleus, which is behind it, doesn't. Soleus only crosses one, which means this has an action at the knee as well as down at the ankle. So to quickly orient you so you know exactly what you're looking at, this is a posterior view of the crust, the crust being your leg. Where, And when I say leg, by the way, I don't mean like the full thing. The full thing is the lower limb. The leg is actually the region between the knee and the ankle the rest of it above it is the thigh. So you have the thigh and then the leg, or we call this crust in Latin. And what's happening here is on that posterior side, we can see that the gastrocnemius is originating all the way up here on what are called the condyles of the femur. In fact, we could say it's the medial and lateral condyles. And then what's gonna happen is also, actually before I get there, you notice there's this line going down that shows you that there are two different heads. Right? You have a medial head and then you have a lateral head. And you, oh, by the way, you might be wondering, like, how do you know which side is which? In fact, I'm gonna let you try to figure that out for just a second. Is there a way that you can look at this and figure out which side is medial versus lateral? It's an interesting question because it's really important in anatomy to orient yourself whenever you can. Well, the answer is the big toe. Right? The big toe is going to be medial, and so as long as we just follow that up, sure enough, this is going to be the medial head, and then we have the lateral head of gastrocnemius. Now, gastro is in reference to belly or stomach or that kind of thing, so these are kind of like two muscle bellies, and what's going to happen is we have this line going down, but then they converge, and then they join at this area here called the calcaneal tendon, but you don't call it the calcaneal tendon, you call this the Achilles tendon because that's just what everyone has in their head. I mean, its real name is the calcaneal tendon, which is a good name because guess where it goes? It goes down and inserts here at the calcaneus. Now, I wanna show this to you. Now, to do this, we're gonna kinda of click out of this, and this is a good time to let you know that we're using a 100% free Ken Hub article. We're gonna go ahead and leave a link down in the description below so you can go ahead and follow along at home if you'd like to. But as I click on this atlas image here, what we can see is where that calcaneal tendon is blending into the calcaneus. Right, so the calcaneus is this massive heel bone. Calcaneus actually translates to heel. And it's one of seven uh, ankle bones or tarsal bones in your foot. And you can just see how it does it. Like if we come here and look at this zoomed in image, actually let me get that off that right there. But you can see as that tendon comes down and inserts directly into it. Now, this also gives us a great view of the foot, and we want to focus on the ankle, right? because the ankle is a hinge joint. It's only going to be able to do this. We call, if toes are coming up to your nose, we call that dorsal flexion, and then if it's kind of like you're standing on the tips of your toes, we call that plantar flexion. And I want you to think for a moment, right? If you have this muscle coming down in this location here and pulling, right, it's pulling on that calcaneus, what action would be happening at this hinge joint that we call the ankle? The answer is plantar flexion, right? It's like you're standing on the tips of your toes. And that's exactly what it's going to do. It is going to perform plantar flexion. But remember, go ahead and click out of this and we're gonna go right back up to that image. I also said that it has an action at the knee. And so again, this is a posterior view. So what action is it going to have as it's crossing the posterior side of the knee? Knee flexion, right? So the gastrocnemius is going to be involved in knee flexion as well as plantar flexion.
Now, the nerve that is going to go to this as we click out of it, and I'm going to come all the way down here, and we can see as I click this, the nerve is going to be the tibial nerve. That is what innervates the gastrocnemius. Now, we've actually removed gastrocnemius in this image, and what we are seeing instead is the popliteus as well as the upper aspect of the soleus. But this green thing right here is the tibial nerve, and that is indeed what is going to make the gastrocnemius work. Now, again, this is a 100% free Ken Hub article. We're going to go ahead and leave that link down in the description below. And I just want to let you know that in these articles, we also like to embed our premium feature here called our quiz mode. And this is just something I want to talk about real quick just to let you know because this is one of my favorite ways to learn anatomy because we give you two different options. You have the option to take a study session quiz, which uses spaced repetition which is basically just asks you a question and then it's going to ask you again and then again and again and you're like why do I want the same question multiple times well that's because we ask it differently each time and that has been proven to really help cement information into your brain but you also might just want to test yourself and see how you're doing that's where we use the exam quiz this again is a premium feature but it is one of the best ways to learn and if you ever click one of these quizzes here it will quiz you on exactly what was discussed in that article but my hope is that you really enjoyed today's video and that you learned something about the gastrocnemius if you did go ahead and hit that like button and while you're down there leave us a comment so we can just know what else you want us to discuss in the future but again thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time